What is going on YouTube? How are you guys doing this evening? I am coming back with a old pick that I had and I always when I find stuff like this I play it a little bit then I'll bag it up or whatnot to keep dust out of it unless I want to display the item. This one here I picked up at the same flea market where I got the N64 lot and it was really cool because I had never had this console itself so it was a Dreamcast and these got a lot of weight to them Dreamcast does and it's in pretty good condition and it is working I, actually I just had it hooked up and I was testing out a game I'll show you later but it's in pretty nice condition it did come with all the hookups power supply and the RC cables or RCA cables which is really cool because most of the time when I find stuff like this it does not have everything with it it's always missing something and it came with a, a really nice controller and it did have the VMU in there and I, I've seen on YouTube or whatnot you could play games on this little thing which is pretty neat look at the screen on that little guy and this one the battery's dead but you can just take this screw out here and pull this piece off replace the battery and you'll be ready to go so that was really cool to find that and it come with some games and the whole story behind this was I was down at the flea market trying to buy a weed eater because mine had died and I was looking around I always go around to the booths anytime I'm there because I always go on Saturday to try to find games and stuff and whatnot, but this time I wasn't even looking for games and I seen a new booth there it had like DVDs CDs uh, like VCRs and crap like that and I just stopped in to check it out and over off to my left I seen the corner of the Dreamcast kind of like this sticking out and I, I immediately I knew what it was so I walked around there was nobody there I said you know who owns the booth and he, the guy I talked to he said she does and she was coming back from that same place I got a burger from in the other video if you guys seen that and she had a burger and there those are good burgers and uh, I said what would you take for the the game console she said well actually I got the I bought I buy uh, storage units and that was in a box in a storage unit and I'll take 10 bucks for it and I, could, I just couldn't get my wallet out fast enough. I was like, yeah, I'll definitely give you 10 bucks for it. So I paid her 10 bucks, and I just, you know, I was out. And it did come with some games, some pretty good titles. First off, we got Crazy Taxi. And was talking to her, evidently the person that owned the storage unit was an older lady, and she had bought this console brand new, so this is adult-owned which is ridiculous to find at a flea market and all the games are complete in the box or the case not the box and they're in really nice condition as far as the disc and I like to hold this up here a little bit longer so you guys can actually see condition other than just like going this is the game I got bang you can't see it so and we got another copy of Crazy Taxi, which was crazy. And uh, this is uh, Sega All Stars. I'm, I'm I'm assuming that that's like Player's Choice or Greatest Hits Edition. So I don't need both of these. So one of these will be up for trade or you know whatnot. Just hit me up in the comments if you need a copy of Crazy Taxi, and I'll definitely swap it out for something with you. So take that. And Chris Miller, nice shooting by the way. I seen your video. That was pretty good shooting, man. Pretty good shooting. I just had to throw that in there. If you guys don't know who Chris Miller is, check him out. He's awesome. Chris Miller. Then we got Mortal Kombat Gold. And all these are in like, look how shiny that is. Oh, man. Mortal Kombat Gold. And this one actually did have Baraka in it. it. It was kind of a screwed up Baraka, but they need to bring Baraka back like Baraka was in Mortal Kombat 2. 
make him look like that. No underbite and making him look stupid like they did Venom at one point in time. But bring him back. Mortal Kombat Go. Then we got Ooga Booga. I'm not really up on Dreamcast prices and stuff. I haven't even looked them up, but that's a really nice copy of Ooga Booga. And it is complete. And it is in nice condition too. So you can tell these games are all adult owned. Then we got a copy of Evil Dead Hell to the King. Man, I love these movies. Evil Dead was friggin' awesome. And it is complete too. And in nice condition. Bruce Campbell, man. <laughs> Crazy. This is awesome. Anytime I see any of the old Evil Dead movies on, I still watch them. And I have them on uh, DVD. Then we got a pretty rare one here. If you've ever, <clears throat> which, if you've ever, everybody's watched AVGN and probably seen this episode, Seaman. It's a pretty unique game. It requires like a little a microphone or whatnot where you can talk to it and tell it what to do. And it, it becomes self aware, evidently. And this was at $2. Somebody paid 2 bucks for it. And it's missing the manual. It's like in a CD case. Let's see if I can see what this is. Hootie and the Blowfish. It's in a Hootie and the Blowfish case. But Seaman. And this one here is a little bit scratched up, but it's nothing the resurfacer will not deal with. So that's a good thing. And evidently, this is a pretty rare game. So there is the Dreamcast lot. And to all you guys that watch the channel and subscribe and stuff, I really do appreciate it. I want this thing to grow. I want to show you guys everything I find. Because where I live, there's not really much interest in video games. If you've seen the other video with the dude that got, you know, ill and wanted me just to get rid of the stuff so his son couldn't play it, you can understand what I'm, I'm saying. So thank you guys. This was an awesome pick and it was awesome to relive with you guys. And you guys keep watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.